Hello everybody, welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do your own custom UI, even if you don't know how to code at all. As you can see on the screen, I'm buying some guns and healing myself. I'm going to show you how to do that. Alright, now that we've seen gameplay of my verse device, let's go ahead and make our own UI. Go into this YouTube video and go into the description and go to the snippets link. When you go over there, copy the snippet and then go back to the UEFN editor. Open up Visual Studio Code and then create your own first file. All you need to do is just paste that file in there, go back to the editor, click verse and click build verse code. Now the device is all yours. Go into the content drawer open creative devices and you should see a new device called the menu manager device place it down and you are met with two options trigger to show ui and button ui the trigger to show ui is the trigger that when activated will show this ui so let's go into the content drawer and get ourselves a trigger now we just need to hook it up and there now when this trigger is activated, this UI will open up. Let's get into creating our own buttons. For that, I'll click Add Element. Now that we've created a button, just go in here and you'll see several options. The button text, position, size, style, and other events. For the button text, I'm going to call it Grant uh, Cloak Item. For the button position and size, it's a little confusing, but I'll explain how you can set the X and Y values to where you want it and how big you want it. Go into your content drawer and right click and click user interface and widget blueprint. From here, click user widget and then name it whatever you want. It doesn't matter though, as this won't actually be used in anything. Double click it and then drag a canvas panel into the canvas. Now that we have a canvas panel, we can drag any button onto here. So far in UEFN, they have three supported button types. The loud button, the quiet button, and the regular button. But anyways, we're not going to the styles of the button yet. We're just trying to find the size and position. If I wanted this button to be in the middle of my screen, just drag it like so, and then in the right you'll see the position X, position Y, size X, and size Y. All you have to do now is simply just copy these values over to your verse device. Alright, now that we've done that, we can see there's another option, button style and it has three options, one, two, and three. The first option is this quiet button. The second option is this loud button. And the third option, which is the default, is the regular button. I'm gonna keep it at the regular button for now, but you can set yours to whatever you like. This removes UI on click, removes the entire UI on this button click. So. If you wanted an exit button, you would want to keep this checked. But for this, this is not an exit button, so I'm going to uncheck this. Let's skip this save button. Let's skip this save button state for now and move on to the button events. If you go into here, you'll see a trigger to activate with an option. Let's grab a trigger and drag it out into the editor. Whoops, <laughs> wrong device. Alright, now if I link this up, that means whenever I click this button that says Grant Cloak Item, it will trigger this trigger right here, which then could be used to trigger other triggers or other verse devices. The Send Instigator will send the player information. I want to keep this checked because I want to be able to grant this player the Cloak Item. Now let's look at the button functions. You have Enable button, Disable button, Show button, and Hide button. Now, it might sound confusing with Disable and Hide and Enable and Show. They kind of sound the same, but let me explain. 
the disable button on trigger what will happen is when this trigger when a trigger activates this it will fade the button so the button will still be visible but you can't click it the hide button on trigger will actually completely hide the button you won't be able to see it at all and obviously the reverse is for the enable button on trigger and show button where the show button reappears the button and the enable button on trigger unfades the button and makes it clickable now for the save button state what this does is it remembers what state the button is in let's say you're in the ui and you clicked a button that made this grant cloak item button hide if you have this checked on and you exit the menu and then you open the menu again the save button state will remember that the button was hidden when you last exited the menu and it will keep it hidden but for this I am going to keep this on and I'm actually going to set this disable button on trigger to the same trigger that is activated when this button is clicked that means whenever I click this button this trigger will get activated and then it'll send a signal to this to disable the button since we only want the player to get one cloak item. All right, now I need to drag out an item grantor if I actually want to give the player an item. Search of item grantor, drag it out, set the item right here, and then go down to the bottom. Click a plus on the grant item and hook up to the trigger that is activated by that button. Select on triggered, and now boom, you have your own custom UI where you can grant the player an item. To do more complex mechanics than just granting items, you can actually use this device to do a lot of things. You could give the player health. You could make the player take damage. There's a lot of things you could do with this because the signal is going through a trigger which then can be sent anywhere. All right, now let's put this to the test and open my session. All right, we're in my session now and I'm gonna start the game. And then I'm gonna fly over to that UI device I just made. Now this is the trigger, the same trigger that opens the UI. So when I step on it, the UI is opened. You can see the button is in the middle. It says the text and it's in the correct style. If I click it, I will get a cloak gauntlet item and the button will be faded. Now, as you can see, I can't, I can't move it all because this UI is still open. I didn't add an exit button, which is my own fault. But remember to always add an exit button or a way to exit out of your UI or else your player will just be stuck here looking all stupid. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe and make sure to be on the lookout for more verse videos.